Hello my soccer universe and as this is the first video of 2022 please let me wish you a very happy new year. The background is a little bit of a switch around of the jerseys that I had for the last video video of the year so uh, there's not too much behind it but what I want to do now is to kind of together with you <laughs> I kind of outline where my headspace is at in terms of acquiring new jerseys uh, this year. I won't make a grand declaration like I did in my first video last year that I don't want to exceed the, a certain number of jerseys because I said I don't need another 50 jerseys and I got 77. Not gonna do that this year. Uh, I do, however, have a plan of, you know, be a little bit more targeted. I added a whole lot of new teams that I wanted to have for my channel that I'm very happy, I'm very content with. So I just want to grow for a few leagues. Let me adjust the camera a teeny bit because I don't want it to slide down. So, so uh, as I said, I'm overall quite content uh, with what I got. Uh, last year. Um, I think most of my backgrounds that I have are in really really good shape uh, with you know not needing to borrow any national team churches but there are a few that need some work which will actually inform um, what I'm gonna do. But yeah uh, before we get into all that let's recap last year how have I been doing. I at the beginning of the year I got my top 10 shopping list and you know, when I say the top 10 jerseys, there's always a shopping list in a, in, a, in, a, in a way as well. So here is it, and everything that's marked green is actually what I got. So the only team that I didn't get from this top 10 uh, is Bayer Leverkusen. For, I don't want to say obvious uh, reasons, but the main reason is uh, Leverkusen has certainly dropped off and I don't like Leverkusen all that much to begin with and I have to say the jersey that I got that never came uh, to a price where I actually felt comfortable getting one. So that is the main reason why I didn't get Leverkusen, but I got other Bundesliga teams that I mentioned uh, and I'm very happy with that. I think my Bundesliga collection still needing needs some work but is uh, very good. As for the top 10 jerseys, yeah, uh, the Bayern third that I had here, there have been better jerseys released here, the Finland one, when I really wanted to get it, I couldn't get it at the moment that prices don't drop. I'm not sure if it's still available, I think Unisport had it. Uh, it's a jersey that I want, I, I would love to have. And the same thing for the Marseille, I actually chose other jerseys then and I didn't uh, ever order again from France, so that's why I didn't get around for this Marseille jersey. But other than that, pretty good, I would have to say. So yeah, very, very fine uh, work. Yes, and I'm hinting here, there's one jersey that you haven't seen yet, but that I have forgot is also on this list. Then I think it was around June where I said, yeah, okay, where I, I did take already stock. And then I have target new teams. You see, a few of them are already ticked off. Feyenoord, I just got Celta. Uh, Betis, I was um, kind of pick, pick, pick for me. I said at home, it became a fourth, but that fourth is really, really special. Nantes, I got Wolves, I got Torino, I got Wolves as a gift even. So, really, really cool. Um, Athletic Club maybe is the one where I say this is the one, yeah, uh, I should have by now. The other ones that I didn't, yeah, so be it. And then for Target doubling up, yes, I have a second Juve shirt. I have a home shirt for Atalanta. The rest, yeah, did not really happen. But, you know, what cannot, what didn't happen still can be. So I guess in order to now make this uh, new top 10, let me first, what I'm thinking budget. I mean, last season I had like 120 euros a year. I, as I said, I want to spend a little bit less. And in that sense, I have reduced my budget to 80 a month. Uh, not 120 a year, 120 a month. I want to reduce it now to 80 a month. I know there are enough opportunities to catch in on pre uh, cash in on pre presents and so on. So uh, I think that should be roughly fine. And I got to say that uh, what I ordered uh, for the FCON already counted towards that budget for, uh, and so I actually will probably, and I'll get to it in a second, there's one exception, I will probably try now my best to not order in January. Uh, just, you know, there all the sales are coming, we gotta wait for that. 
So uh, this is my New Year's resolution for, <laughs> but it will only for January because we have a birthday coming up for, for all of our children. So in that sense, the obvious starting point are the top 10 from last year and number one I have and number two is the one that I really want to have and that's the one if they uh, suddenly go on sale at the Ajax store in January that's the jersey I'm gonna pounce on and you know some of them in Rayo I will probably not get Willem Dwey the away jersey is already sold out it will most likely Willem Dwey I actually am kind of um, tempted to get a home jersey because I really I wanna you know all the Dutch jerseys they have are red and white and you know there's a little bit blue for Willem Dwey so I wanna be a little bit branch out there as well but you know those are kind of in there I gotta say Porto would be nice but then I have this Real Madrid jersey that very 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 similar so as I said this is a starting point for George or to get. But now uh, to go a little bit more methodically, um, I take the list that I had from the target new teams and target doubling up. I remove the ones that, that I got and then let's see what remains. Okay, Athletic Club, AZ, Leeds United and Genoa. Right off the bat, AZ, I think I would love to have, but you know, it's another red jersey, jer jer so not uh, very high on, on the list. Leeds, I really would love to have a Leeds shirt, but uh, let's see, will they stay in the Premier League in a way? So, um, uh, will they turn, turn, turn around, but you know, I would love to have Leeds. I don't have, I have to say, I didn't like the Adidas ones. I always liked the Leeds away jersey better. The one where they came up, this was a really nice one. And I also got to say, I think it was a couple one. And I also got to say the first Adidas away jersey was really, really nice with the green and the blue. I love that one. Uh, Genoa, I don't necessarily need another Serie A team per se, because I have plenty. However, just for historical reasons, I think Genoa would be really nice to have. As for doubling up, I gotta say Spurs, it becomes more and more glaring. I need a Spurs and I would like to have an away jersey for Spurs. Uh, I really love the yellow one from last season and also one with a new with the newish logo uh, or a dark blue one. That would be my uh, ideal. Dortmund, you know, I need to double up on the big German teams. I have a Bayern jersey that I would like to have a Dortmund. It could be a home or away. Uh, a little bit more exciting home than the one that I have. Monaco, just because it's such a classic design. Um, and away PSV, you know, I have a blue Ajax, I have Ajax away jersey to so kind of whenever I have some Dutch jerseys, mix it up a little bit. Um, the one team, top team in Italy where I have only one jersey is Lazio. Um, and I actually thinking there should be an alt alternate there, either dark blue one or ideally the 1819 home i really loved that one and then yeah uh leicester it bugs me a little bit that i don't have a leicester home jersey so that would be one so that's kind of the starting point and to be honest um the there are only three leagues where I really see a need of adding on. The first one is the Bundesliga, where it's really hard for me to kind of choose um, because Bielefeld and Bochum have really nice jerseys, but will they stay in the league? You know, I would like to add a little, a little bit blue. Then we have Leverkusen, of course, and then we have Union Berlin, which are a really nice team. But honestly, are their jerseys all that great? I wouldn't say so. So, I mean, those would be... So I decided now, and I think they all go ahead of AZ Genoa and Leeds United, three Bundesliga teams. Um, I chose the three Leverkusen, Union and Armenia Bielefeld for now. Um, but caveat, Leverkusen is probably one that goes in there. I also have to say maybe Leipzig, yeah, maybe I have to get over myself and get a Leipzig shirt because they are actually good and there are some nice Leipzig jerseys out there as well. So... Uh, but I put those three now out, especially because I like the Bielefeld home jersey. I put them in. Union is a very team that's very easy to like. And Leverkusen is just a classic Bundesliga team. Then the other league is, of course, League um, uh, And again, all of these would go ahead of AZ Genoa and Leeds. I gotta say Strasbourg, because I've been... This is the city I've been to in France the most, so I really would like to have a Strasbourg jersey. And I led a really nice one from the 90s gold uh, recently, ago, uh, not too, uh, too long ago a little bit hurts and then two teams that are doing well this season are Lens and Nice but of course they're the Breton teams I mean Brest would be I have a really nice jersey that I like Lorient would add a little bit of different color uh, and then you know in the south of France Montpellier is always one that I like so you know again 
not set in stones, but I put now those uh, three up there. So next one, let's talk about doubling up. Um, I'm just adding here four that I really think would be nice to have a second one. I would like to have an uh, OM away jersey, a dark blue one. Feyenoord, I don't like my Feyenoord jersey. I would like to have another one. Uh, it could be in a way, but I think a home, a nice home jersey would also be something nice. I actually, I have an idea because the former last captain is now playing at Feyenoord and he became the player of the uh, year for them even now. Getting a Trauner jersey would be really nice. In Germany, a Stuttgart jersey, a second one. I would love one where either the band goes around or one of the away jerseys and I, you know, the last season's black away jersey was so great and it never came on sale. I also like the complimentary jersey to the one of the 97, 98 away with the horizontal black and red striping. That is an awesome one. Uh, but you know, it can be also just a regular home jersey. And I really think, I'm doing quite well in Spain, but I think a Sevilla away jersey, given that Sevilla are one of the top teams, a red one, that would be something and you know now having them put um i wanted to reorder or, or them i actually think spurs dortmund sevilla almost on par with with john and the other ones i pulled out an order it doesn't really need to be that, that that way but as i said i think spurs i really would like to have another one uh dortmund i really really would like to have another one in sevilla in a way uh om maybe but you know uh this already a step below the top three this is something that i really would like to add on but that was only club teams uh, so far. Uh, what about the World Cup? Yes, I think the biggest goal for me this season is to try to get for every World Cup team a jersey. At least a jersey like I did for, for the Euros. And now you might say, oh, this is a lot of teams, but I'm actually in pretty good shape because of the Euros. I just needed to add Serbia. Everything else, I'm already covered. Uh, in South America, unless Chile or Venezuela, very unlikely, or Paraguay, also unlikely, qualify, I'm covered. So doing fine there. Africa, the only team is the Democratic Republic of the Congo. Yes, I would like to have one of their jerseys, but they're not at the AFCON. Um, and I think they're against whoever they, they will play, they're not the fav favorites. Every other African team I, that is in the playoffs, I'm covered. So it all boils down to North America and to um, Asia. And the first ones from these regions that come to my mind are Japan and Mexico. Uh, there's no doubt, no doubt about it, but they're not really quite there yet. But I, those two are nations that I should have a jersey. Then Canada, very likely to be qualified and I've been to Canada, so I really would like to have a Canada jersey. Problem is, why are they always so boring? Same thing goes for the whole scooter. I a little bit regret, I think it was early this year or last year that I saw a cutter jersey and I didn't get one. There was even be a Burda jersey, which would have been nice. Iran and Saudi Arabia also already qualified and Iran, I hope I can get one with the uh, 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 leopard on there or cheetah, whatever it is. And Saudi Arabia also had some quite nice ones. Um, I do agree that they maybe not feature as highly on my want list as do Japan and Mexico and Canada because I have not been to these countries and with all the, let's say, political uh, tensions, it's maybe not as sexy to have them. But, you know, if I get nice jerseys, as I said, I want to get a jersey from each nation and it, this is only, I condemn them maybe politically. I'm not saying anything about the people because I'm sure there are plenty of nice people there as well. So for the World Cup, these are the ones that come to mind now. There are of course CONCACAF, there, there could be Panama or Costa Rica coming, uh, but we have to see how it develops there. So that is one uh, target. Then I have some teams that I have already plenty of jerseys, but they have released some nice ones that I, I would like to have. Chief of them is my dear Lusk who came out just at the beginning of December with a wonderful retro jersey. It looks a little bit uh, odd at once, but it is one that I would like to have. They say in February that it will come back in stock. Um, I will keep my eyes out on that. That, that one, that's one I want to have. Uh, so this is the number one. Then, of course, there are a few that I really would like to have. I would like to have the current Milan away jersey. Uh, I really like it. It has a different color. It's similar to the golden one. Um, I also would like to have a UV jersey. I have two home jerseys. I had now, 
I have been working on the pink away jersey from 1516. I saw it twice listed. Once the seller was an idiot, the second time I was just too late because that would have been almost my last purchase. So, uh, but to be honest, I actually would like to have a blue or a yellow blue UV away jersey. The blue one, of course, ideal. We all know 95, 9, 96 is one of my holy grails. But you know, of the recent ones, I actually like the one uh, in 1415, the away jersey. And also, I think one of the, the second Adidas one, the um, uh, yellow one with blue, was really, really nice. And I actually feel, no, I want to have a Real Madrid home jersey. Uh, another one. I only have the one from 98. I actually would like to have a more recent one, potentially one with a little bit golden accents. I think that would be really nice to have. I also would like to have national teams. Uh, there are four that come to mind. Uh, Croatia home jersey is long overdue. Uh, a Netherlands away kit in blue and or white. I would love to have. Um, and the blue one, I actually like the one from 98 World Cup or the one from a 2014 World Cup. Those are the blue ones that I liked. Um, you know, blue and orange, it needs to be. And white one, yes, ideally one from the 90s, but I have to say the one that Nike released also with the new Salkrat in 2015, that was nice. Or the one from the 2006 World Cup with the Dutch flag across. I really would love to have the Serbia weight jersey that they won in Lisbon. And a Brazil in blue. That would also be something that, you know, those are where kind of my mind is at so let's combine this all in a top 10 shopping list that will complement the top 10 jerseys so i add japan mexico canada up top then and again this is a little bit hard i, I try to take from every every list a little bit i decided yeah, um athletic club that's the biggest team that i think i don't have uh leverkusen and strasbourg um kind of to say okay i want to have uh, three Bundesliga teams, I want to have three more uh, League 1 teams. I would love to have doubling up. I need to have Spurs, Dortmund and Sevilla. And this last retro jersey, together with the Milan away. Those would be really ones. And then you see already on the other side, uh, the, my top jerseys. As I said, the Willem Dway, I probably, at this moment, still, the way is really nice, but maybe it will be, it will become the home jersey. But let's see how it goes. So yeah. That is what I went through now this morning, uh, what I thought would be the best lists that I could come up with. So yeah, I also, I wanna say, this is where I'm looking at, but I am actually really, 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 really tempted um, to just try and contact um, other collectors and try and see if we can do mystery exchanges. Um, if they would ask what I'm looking for, I could give them now this list as my reference in a way. Uh, but you know, there are so many other things out there and you know, as the year goes along, I might augment or take something off. Uh, but yeah, uh, I'm really tempted to actually spend, uh, really go only for uh, Ligue 1, adding teams for Eredivisie, a few teams, and as I said, for the Bundesliga. I think uh, that that one, that and Ligue, Ligue 1, those total the ones where I really would like to go for. Then you saw the few doubling ups where I feel, I mean, uh, the Spurs one really bugs bur bur me, the Sevilla one really bugs me. Uh, so yeah, those would be tar targets as well. But you know, uh, really, outside of those, maybe stay off and let others pick for me i would like to do i think i would like to do at least two if not three more mystery exchanges because they're really really fun and it actually deepens the connections between collectors and me uh and so i would love to do that in any case uh let lab know what you think about this list uh that i have i am getting very content with my collection i gotta say um yes I see, you know, this was a big increase. Maybe there will be less of an increase now. But, you know, there are always so many nice churches. You see, I'm torn. Any case, maybe better end this video here. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Let me know what you thought about it. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. 
Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated on all the things that are rotating in my soccer universe. And with that, I'm going to wish you a wonderful day. Bye.